Jeez, that hurts. Yeah, so I almost put a nail through my finger today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Not really, though. Check that out. That's brutal. Yeah. Not very fun, but what we have in store for today's video is going to be pretty fun. In this video, we're going to be installing a new part on the Z1000. So let's go ahead and take a look at the package, and I'm going to unbox it for you guys so you can see what we are going to be installing in today's video. I think you're going to like it. It's something that I've been waiting for for quite a while now, so I'm pretty excited. Dive right on in here. This part comes from Moto Million. Unfortunately, Solo Moto Parts, which is the company that I usually like to deal with, did not have this particular item, so I had to order it from Moto Million, but because so many other YouTubes had great experience with Moto Million, I went ahead and went with them. Awesome little thank you note here from uh, Manny, the owner of Moto Million, and some awesome Moto Million stickers. That's pretty cool. I like it when a company goes the extra mile to send you little things like this. And here is the actual product. This is the TWM Quick Action gas cap. It's a quarter turn to open it up. It's keyless. And I got the all black version because I feel like it looks the best. And I don't like a lot of accent colors when there's already such a bright color like the green on my Z1000. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a peek inside. All right, so in my opinion, this is probably one of the best gas caps that you can buy on the market. I know there's other good ones like Vortex and, and Driven Racing, but I kind of prefer the looks of this one. And I also like the fact that it retains the factory pressure relief valve, which in my opinion is pretty important. The factory would not put it there unless it was necessary. And I like to keep everything as factory as possible, but wow, this thing is beautiful and it is super, super light. Let's check this out. Push, turn, ow, oof, that's so nice. Back in, turn, until it clicks, wow, check that out. That is a beautiful gas cap, you guys. So you're probably asking yourself, because you can obviously see that it is dark outside, and you're wondering, why the heck are you filming when it's dark? What time could it possibly be right now? Well, let me show you what time it is because you guys aren't going to believe this. This is crazy. It's install time, but in all seriousness, the reason that I was filming so late last night is because I got home very late from work and decided I at least wanted to get the intro done. So that's what I did. But I'm going to go ahead and start by taking off this stock gas cap. All it is is just these screws right here and here. It isn't all five screws. Two of these screws are just decorative screws. So it only takes these two closest to you when you're riding and the one closest to the dash. I'm going to start by taking those out first. There you go, there's a stock gas cap. So in order to get the TWM gas cap ready to be installed, there's a couple of things you have to do before you can actually put it on. So the first thing is TWM does supply you with a gasket that goes around the gas cap right here. So you can go ahead and slide that on nice and tight right around the base of the gas cap. Just work it around so it's nice and tight and fits just like it should. Make sure it seals around all the edges right here. That way it creates a good seal in the gas tank. Next up, TWM supplies these shorter screws, the shortest ones in the bag, as well as a washer and a nylock nut to take the place of the decorative screws that I showed you on the stock gas cap. They don't screw anywhere in the tank, but you still want to fill the holes. And I like the fact that TWM does this because I like the look of having five bolts instead of just those three functional ones. Adds a little bit of weight, but I don't really care. I think it looks a little better. 
so those are going to go right here on the two sides here and here and again these are the actual functional bolt holes so you're going to slide your screw in then the rough side of the washer will go down against the gas cap and then you can go ahead and thread on your nylock nut now you're going to want to do the same thing on both sides and then grab you a socket and tighten these down nice and tight so they don't rattle loose while you're riding now the next pieces that you're going to use for the install are these spacing collars and the longest screws in the package as well as these little tiny o-rings right here which are going to help hold everything together once you put it in so you're going to go ahead and slide your long bolts through collar goes next right here this is going to space it out so the gas cap sits nice and flush on the tank and then you're going to grab your um, o-ring and you're going to slide that onto the screw just like that so now it doesn't fall off when you're putting the gas cap down just like that it holds the collar on and you're able to fit everything up just like you would need to all right so the gas cap is good and ready to go we are ready to go ahead and install it on the bike so let's go over to the bike and finish this thing up the next step is this breather tube that I had mentioned earlier. You're gonna to wanna to take the tip of this tube and shove it down into the breather hole that is on the tank. Make sure it doesn't kink up. That way the air can still leave the gas tank just like it was designed to from the factory. Just slide that tube all the way in. Keep it nice and straight. Best you can. Make sure your rubber gasket stays on. And then go ahead and Fit your gas cap on to the factory bolt location. And make sure you press it into the gasket seal that is on the tank from factory. Make sure it is nice and sealed all the way around. And then you can go ahead and tighten up your mounting screws here, here, and here. Now, if you're OCD like I am, I will still go in a pattern as I tighten them down so that the gas cap doesn't get unlevel and I keep everything as quality as possible. So I'm going to tighten this one first, then move here, then move here, and then work my way through the pattern again, gradually getting tighter on each bolt. Remember, these are the decorative bolts and these are already tight. There's nothing else we need to do with those. Okay, so turns out strike one against TWM. Yes, it's a quality product, but the three mounting screws are not long enough to thread into the tank. So I have the option to either reuse the stock ugly ones that don't fit flush or I have to go buy some new ones that are longer and will fit flush and match these. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut to another day of the install once again right now. Okay, so day three of uh, this little gas cap video, I ordered the CNC billet black fuel cap bolts. These are the OEM length for the 2015 Z1000. I'll show you the length between the ones that came with the TWM gas cap and these new black billet ones that I just bought. So as you can see there, this one is quite a bit longer. That's going to be able to allow it to thread into the tank, whereas this one wasn't quite long enough from TWM. But either way, these black ones are going to look a lot nicer than these shiny silver ones on a bike that otherwise has no silver. So I'm going to go ahead and swap the bolts out for these new black CNC ones, and we'll be able to finish up this install. All right, so the install is all done. Everything is tidied up. Take a look. Alright, so besides the fact that the TWM kit did come with the bolts that were a little too short, everything went on nice and smooth. The black bolts really do look nice. As you can see, they do raise up a little bit from the cap, unlike the stock ones which sit flush, or the TWM ones that sit flush inside the bevel. These are um, the OEM style screws 
but they are not beveled out like the TWM ones are. I don't think it looks bad, and I'm willing to take um, a little bit of raised bolt action for the black because having it all blacked out looks a lot better than having the silver screws just sitting there out of place. And obviously, the quick action works very nicely, nice and stiff. Everything is sealed up in there nicely, the tank lip is sitting nicely against the TWM gasket and of course there's an o-ring there to seal it all right so that's going to wrap it up for today's video if you're interested in any of these parts whether it be the bolt kit that i got or the actual TWM gas cap i'll link them all down below in the description box so you can go get them for your bike if you're interested so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe click that like button if you enjoyed today's video and if you like this install let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see next on the bike. Obviously, uh, the front turn signals is a must. I know a lot of you guys already said that, so that's coming soon. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And like I always say, don't dream it, just live it. Catch y'all in the next one. I feel it's just you and me. I'm falling on my knees, on my knees just to see if I can.